Our planet should not be called Earth. It should be called water. 70% of the world is made up of seas and oceans. These bodies of water are also where the majority of our oxygen is produced, thanks to phytoplankton, microscopic organisms that float in the water and feed exclusively on inorganic substances. In coastal ecosystems, such as estuaries, kelp beds, mangroves, and reefs, fish and plants coexist with water, minerals, and sunlight. In these areas, 20% more phytoplankton is produced than on the open sea. The coastal reefs provide shelter for up to one-third of all existing species of marine life. However, these coastal reefs are being damaged by overexploitation, pollution, and the present-day erosion of the ocean floor. Artificial reefs are produced when diverse man-made objects are submerged onto a desolate area of the ocean floor. These artificial reefs provide areas of shelter for new marine life and contribute to the survival of natural reefs by increasing the production of available food for different species. In addition to facilitating marine species reproduction, Artificial reefs also represent a significant tourist attraction for fishing, scuba diving, and freediving enthusiasts. They also serve as scientific field laboratories, providing us the opportunity to identify and quantify the production and growth of the different organisms, fish, and plant life. Furthermore, they can be used to measure climatic changes in protected areas, ocean currents, tides, temperatures, and the displacement of different organisms. Artificial reefs can also function as laboratories to measure the resistance of materials under corrosive conditions of oceanic salinity. These environmental, scientific, and tourism benefits become economic benefits for the locations that promote them, while strengthening local residents' commitment to protecting biodiversity. This in turn attracts other people and organizations interested in working in favor of the environment. The creation of artificial reefs, focusing on the conservation of marine ecosystems, potentially represents one of the world's most integral programs with regard to protecting natural reefs and the conservation of their ecosystems. Success stories are being confirmed each day, and for this same reason, these projects are gaining in popularity among companies looking to project a pro-environment image before their clients and stakeholders. Your business, product, or service has a unique opportunity to reach the local community and the tourists who will visit us. Take responsible action by positioning your brand within this extraordinary project on behalf of our planet. Mexico, Baja California, and the residents of Playas de Rosarito are setting the example by constructing the first internationally certified artificial reef on Mexico's northern Pacific coast. Rosarito Underwater Park, a project involving everyone for the benefit of all. <laughs>